I've been having some fun with this ortho laser, so I want to do a little bit of an upgrade video of all the improvements which I've made and 3D printed for this guy. So if you're interested in that, stick with me and we'll jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you as a group some of the modifications I've made to my Ortho Laser Master 2 or whatever the heck they're calling this guy nowadays. So with it, I've done several uh, separate videos on various pieces of this. I kind of wanted to share them as a group so you guys can see how it all fits together and why I have done that. So one of the pieces is obviously this board. So I picked up a two by two foot square foot uh, piece of board from a home improvement store and I designed these feet. Now I covered these feet out in another video. It's great because you can pick this up, lift this out, but yet it holds it square inside of this frame, which is really neat. So if I want to take this somewhere else, maybe put it on a table, put it on something else big, I can do that, but then I can return it to this working table and again, go back at it. The other thing is you notice is I've laser cut a grid onto the board so I can know where I place this. I'll throw a link to this grid out on the website or in the description below. So if you want to pick up an SVGA of that, you can. Now, one of the other things is I crossed it here. So I both have the square location. I think these are like 20 millimeter squares. Um, the reason it doesn't intersect perfectly at the middle is, again, I think this is 400 by 430. So, you know, it's a little bit, it's not a perfect square. It's a rectangle. So, uh, you know, that's why it comes in the middle, but not in a square. Now, what this does is allow me to arrange something out here. I use light burn. I can actually bring this grid up as a layer, place my thing, turn this grid off. And again, I know where it's going to be in reference to the board. So it comes in handy. And you'll see that, you know, this is sort of like a CNC sacrificial board. You can see where it's already burned through some stuff down here. So again, in the future, you know, I probably need to get a new board and this get repurposed for something else, cut up, painted, sanded, and used uh, in some other fashion. Now, again, I've covered out the cable ties and you can see the cables. This has been great. I really love this. It really keeps the cables out of the way, keeps this cable from dragging uh, on the uh, bed here. I know some people have done some stuff with zip ties and everything to me that this has just been a whole lot cleaner. Uh, one of the biggest modifications is down here at the bottom, the laser focusing tap. Super, super duper handy for focusing this thing. So it makes it a lot easier to focus and really cool. Now, the other piece off to the side here, you see I have this uh, woodworking dust collection vent. So what I do is I have this integrated into my uh, shop ventilation system. So as I'm using this, this draws in the smoke and blows it out. It's connected to a four inch DC fan, which exits to the outside. So this is super handy. Um, I've done a video on it. I'll link that video as well as a link to the um, DC blower, if you will. Uh, super quiet. So, you know, when it's running, it's not, you know, a big drone like most other systems. Uh, so with that, this has been super handy. Now, the other piece I would really suggest is spring in the 40, 50 bucks for light burn. Well worth it because most of what I do with this um, really is done on the fly. So if I need to make feed for something, if I need to cut something out real quick, if I need to make a sign, I can go into light burn, design it in light burn, hit, hit print or send to the laser and boom, I've got it done. So super handy, like you can see all the stuff here. Again, most of it, I, what I've been doing is shapes and stuff. Now, if you're into scrapbooking, you'll probably use Inkscape, create an SVG, import it into Lightburn and burn it from there. But, you know, going through all this hassle of design, G-code conversion, you know, to sending, all done with Lightburn and is super handy. The other thing is Lightburn's got a lot of other cool features like outlining, focus features, and just spend the money, well worth it. So with that being said, these are my modifications. I'll have links to Thingiverse to all the printed parts I've done for this, as well as the DC fan, as well as this vent here. This is basically a, uh, part of a dust collection system, which you can get off of Amazon or most other woodworking systems, a four incher. And uh, hey, this has served really well and been fun to play with. I also have a link to this out on Banggood. It was like 200 bucks, well worth the 200 bucks spent. I'm gonna probably buy a 
bigger laser for this. I think this is, this is the 15 watt input, which gives you like about three and a half, four watts out. I would like to be five to seven watts on this guy. It would be really productive. I'll also be doing some other uh, videos on recipes for this guy too, if you're interested. So uh, be sure to check out the playlist, the ortho playlist um, in the playlist section. With that, swag shop up there, subscribe down there, and we'll catch you in the next video. We'll do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.